All right, well, welcome to the ranch. So y'all, if y'all been following me for, for a while, you know that I had an invention that I couldn't tell you about. A couple things have happened. We, um, of course, we, we've got all the international patents and then EPA, the e, we've got EPA labeling on it. It's a new way to deliver your herbicide. So used to in the old days, well, you come up with this liquid Velpar and you'd squirt it on the ground you walk around it squirting at a time or two and you get more on you than you get on the freaking tree or on the ground it kills all this big swath of grass well what we've invented is a bullet we've designed all these applications to where you shouldn't have to you shouldn't have to touch any of this now, now what this bullet does each one of those is enough to control a three foot cedar tree so say if you got a six foot cedar tree we're going to shoot it two times. If you got a nine foot cedar tree, you're going to shoot it three times. If you got a 12 foot cedar tree, you're going to shoot it four times. So every one of these is good for three foot. The invention is, is the, the, the delivery of the herbicide. So we can now, instead of walking to every tree, we can actually apply it for it with using a gun and that is labeled. So on our, on our EPA labeling, we've got these guns are approved to deliver a precise dose of herbicide so and we've designed all this the best we can i mean you need to use your safety uh, protection equipment but we've designed it where you shouldn't have to as much as you can now if you if you plan on touching this stuff you need to be uh have your uh, your ppe on once the magazine fills up then you just shoot the tree so that's a 12 foot tree two foot tree or a six foot tree so I can just sit here all day. I can walk around the pasture shooting trees. And I, I mean, I can do this all day long. And the, the difference is, is you, don't, you can't imagine how much time that saves you when you don't have to walk to every dang uh, cedar tree. But I can reach out, oh, I don't know, that's about 150 feet right there. Yeah, it's probably 100 foot, and it's really windy. So the ideal is the tree catches your bullet. And then when the tree catches your bullet, the tree drops it exactly where you want it, right? So you don't want it, the, you don't want the herbicide two, three foot outside your tree. You want, you want your herbicide right in your tree. So there's no grass right under the, under the, uh, the tree itself. So if you put it out here, you're gonna kill a big swath of grass with the liquid herbicide. With the bullet, the bullet drops right down on in the side of the tree, under the tree, and then it doesn't dissolve fast. It takes an a inch or so of rain to make it dissolve, and it just slowly, slowly, slowly dissolves. And that's what controls your tree in a good way. And, and on top of that, you'll have herbicide scattered all over the pasture. Now let me show you another applicator. Say if you want your one for your little cup holder, you fill this one full of herbicide, you dump it in there and set you in your coffee cup holder. All right, this is my favorite thing. This is, I'm calling this the multi equipment applicator. So you can mount this thing on the side by side and drive around and it'll shoot them out into the trees or your or your four wheeler or whatever you whatever piece of equipment you got your motorcycle the coolest thing about this thing is is i mount it on a drone or a helicopter so we're saying right now it's not labeled for that and we're trying to get the epa to give us some clarity on that all these trees you see behind me just the other day i was doing a test plot right here with the helicopter and i hover over these trees with the helicopter and I hit the button and it drops the bullets down in there. Two things happen there. I'm super fast with the helicopter, but then also I'm getting a GPS coordinates of every tree because I'm hovering over each tree, I'm pulling the trigger and I'm getting a GPS coordinates. But we're still testing it on the helicopter, but right now we're saying a thousand trees an, an hour. And so if you figure a helicopter, three, you got three hours of fuel, 3000 trees, one tank of fuel, and you just figure these little trees, like these trees here, this little tree here is drinking about, oh, five to 10 gallons of water. And these bigger trees over here are drinking about 25 to 30 gallons of water a day. So 
if you figure, just, just give me three hours in a helicopter and let me get 3,000 trees and just hit the bottom of the average, just say 10 gallons of water per tree, that's, that's 30,000 gallons of water a day that I saved in three hours. And you figure that through that, say you got a 200 day growing season, that's 6 million gallons of water that I've saved. All these little trees are they're like little, little ticks on the earth. They're just sucking all the blood out of the earth and they're sucking so much water. And there's never been a way to control cedar trees until now. This new invention that I've got, you can control these trees and I mean you can control a lot of them fast. We'll go over the hill here and we'll look at some trees where, that we've treated and it is amazing how many trees we can control in a short amount of time. But, and there's several ways that we can do this. You drive around with your side by side and shoot the trees, horseback, uh, four wheeler, and, we, and we're gonna need people to do this. But the cool thing that we've done is we've designed these guns with, uh, with these magazines, but then also we use compressed air instead of CO2. And so then you come along with this compressor. For a thousand bucks or a little more, you can have this compressor and a couple of these guns. And as you're shooting trees, each one of these bottles are good for about 900 to a thousand rounds. And while you're shooting the trees, the air compressor can be airing up another uh, tank for you. So you never need to go to town to uh, refill your tanks. So that's pretty freaking cool. That is really nice where you can just sit here and just shoot trees all day long. Love it. So the herbicide has no drift. It's a solid ball. It's water soluble. It doesn't affect the, the wildlife and it doesn't affect cattle. It might affect a little bit of the grass, but the main thing is, is you're just putting it right on the, on the tree that you want treated. When you put it in, let the tree catch it, and you put it in there, in the under the tree, it's pretty protected. I mean, you can put it on, you can put it on a yucca plant, you can put it on the cedar tree, you can put it on a, a mesquite tree, it just whatever unwanted tree you have. In our part of the world, these cedar trees are terrible, and there's no way to control them. There's nothing that you can spray on them to to uh, to control them. So the way I design these these bullets is that one bullet kills a three foot of tree. It's important that you shoot it all the way into the tree because then the tree drops it where it needs to be. Like if you look at, say, this tree here, we must have just caught this one side. If you only catch the one side, then it doesn't get this side. You need to be able to shoot it all the way in. And that's the neat thing I like. That's what I like about the helicopter and the drone so much because it drops it straight right in the center of it and then you get it all. And like all these trees over here, you can see where I've already got these trees. This was kind of my line. I'm on my line right here. But then you get, you know, all these little trees here. All these trees here are gone. Now some of the, some people are gonna say, oh, well, you, all you gotta do is burn them. Well, that doesn't work. So this tree here burned about 17 years ago. And you can see what happened is it's like, that, that all died, well then it just comes back from the ground up. But now, I've controlled it now. When I come over here, I treated these trees. Well, I treated these yuccas too. And see these yuccas are going? Now these, these yuccas take a long time to go because they're, they're, they don't drink much water. But like, you know, the faster, the more water they drink, like a, like a cedar tree, they, the, they're gonna show the effects of the herbicide faster than these slower drinking ones. For years and years and years, we've never had the upper hand. The trees have always had the upper hand. There was no good way to control a cedar tree until now. And this new invention I've got, man, I mean, I, I don't know if you can tell I'm excited, but I'm excited. It's, it's amazing the amount of acres you can get and how cheap it is. Here's the money of it. If you come out and you hire people to come out here and walk out here and just spray each tree, it's $200 an acre. You come out here with a track hoe, and remove each tree and then pile it all up, that's $500 an acre. With me, in this pasture you're looking at, we've been doing, I've been doing this pasture and tracking it, we're at uh, $23.40 an acre. And that's me charging $1,000 an hour for an, a helicopter and full retail on the, on the herbicide, which is $70 a pound, and we're coming out $23.40 um, an acre, which is 
way cheap. That is, I mean, that's cheaper than 2,4-D. And these are bad trees. These are really, really, really bad trees. They don't belong in Texas. They, they're not native to Texas. They're an invasive species and they need to go somewhere else. And we're sending them there right now. The helicopter, the reason that we, the reason we're trying to get aerial application done or using the helicopter and, and the multi-equipment applicator is because you get in this rough country and this is where cedar trees like to grow is in this old rough country. You can't get in here any other way than right here uh, like with a helicopter back up down up and over and that's why we need that application make sure we're good with EPA with we, we're gonna need dealers we got to have helicopter pilots that want to put this stuff out we got to have people that want to put it on the ground one thing and I know it's the future and I hate the I hate these damn things but them freaking drones the drones are the future we we are working on getting it where we get satellite imaging or other drones that map all these trees and then we send another drone up that actually treats the trees now the amazing thing about this product is it doesn't weigh anything so the problem with drones that are right now all ag drones are set up to carry a lot of weight so they want to be able to carry 25 pounds with five minute run time well what we're asking the drone industry to do build us a drone that has 25 minutes of runtime that only carries five pounds. Because if you had the applicator and and a couple pounds of herbicide, that's enough to treat 300 trees. We, I mean, we've solved the drone problem with this herbicide. But today, there's no way a drone can keep up with a helicopter. I am fast. I mean, I am like really, really fast with a helicopter just hitting these trees. Now, we, should, we need to put this stuff out. Right now, I'm saying February through August. It's kind of your, your timeline to get it in. Now, it'll sit there until you get a rain on it, but we, we'd like to have it down, you know, through the growing season. We, it seems like that's when we get the best results is through the growing season. The water districts are just now kind of realizing how much water these things drink. Like this tree beside me is drinking 30 gallons of water a day during the growing season. And there's there's just, they're everywhere. So what, what we see Whenever like all these, you see all these trees that aren't drinking water anymore. Behind me, what we're seeing are these springs are coming back because we've got millions and millions of gallons not being drank through the growing season. So now springs are starting to show back up. And to be able to get them up, up down the side of these hills. You know, when I was talking about people coming in here and squirting trees, well, they're only squirting easy spots. This stuff's not easy to get to. There's no way you can get anybody to walk up down that hill and squirt. But with this, with our applicators, you, you can do that. You can get you can get to them with the helicopter shooting shooting from up here. It's a it's a game changer. The accuracy of these bullets are all sitting under the trees. You couldn't have placed them any better by hand if you if you looked at them and you walked under here and you crawled under every one of these trees. But it's I'm so excited about it. It is this is going to change the world. We've never been able to control these unwanted trees like this until now. This is a I mean, I know it's my invention, but it's a freaking good one. It is a, it is a game changer. We're going to be pushing this brush bullet. So it's brushbullet.com. Go to brushbullet.com. Sign up if you want to be a dealer, if you want to buy something, if you want to be an applicator. Um, and so say if you're an applicator and you got a helicopter, put applicate. I'm an applicator and I want to be a dealer and I got a helicopter. We need to know that. The EPA labeling's happened. It's happened. Now we're waiting on state. So we got Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico this year. If you're outside those states, let us know. We want to hear from you if you got a tree problem. The reason we went Texas, Oklahoma, and New Mexico is because we're getting a late, EPA's delayed us and delayed us, and we're getting a late start. So we're just hoping we can get those three states kind of treated this year. Get to the uh, brushbullet.com and start signing up because the, the second the second we get state uh, labeling from those three states, we're going to be moving some herbicide out the door and applicators. We can go ahead and get the applicators out now. Also, if you don't want to do it, but you want to hire an applicator, we're going to have it where you go to the website and put your location in, and then we'll have uh, multiple options of applicators that are close to you. And so it's important that we get all that in the website now. In Texas, there's 19 million acres of, of ranch land like this that needs to be treated. That's just in Texas. 23 bucks an acre. If you can do it for 23 bucks an acre, buy your land back. It's a no-brainer.
and it's going to be this is this is big this is big time i've been working on this thing for four or five years now and i'm glad we're finally getting the patents are all done the the epa labeling's done just waiting on state labeling so now 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 we're ready to show the world the new invention the brush bullet <laughs>